Good morning, everybody. Thank God we made it through another week. I praise the Lord that we can be once again together in our weekly devotion to study God's Word. And this morning, I believe that God has a word for someone in, in, in this uh, group of people that listen to this devotion weekly. And uh, I would like you to open your Bible with me in Isaiah. And we're going to read one verse in chapter 6. Uh, Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8. Then I heard the voice of the Lord asking, Who will I send? Who will go for us? I said, Here I am. Send me. It is an honor to be chosen. The prophet Isaiah began his ministry in 739 BC after King Uzziah of Judah died of leprosy. The beginning of Isaiah's ministry as a prophet is recorded in Isaiah chapter 6 as he received a vision from the Lord. The verse in question records the Lord's calling of Isaiah and Isaiah receiving that famous call from our verse for, for, for the week. In Isaiah 6, 5, there is a parallel here to Moses' commission at the burning bush. Isaiah, like Moses, points out his faults which would keep him from fulfilling the Lord's calling for his life. This signifies the consistent human nature in the presence of the divine. Unlike Moses' protestations to his physical impairment of speech, Isaiah points out his sinful nature and that of the people around him when he came into the presence of the Lord. Here, Isaiah is actually is acute, accurately aware of his sin, the darkness in contrast with the light of the Lord. Within the vision, Isaiah is cleansed by, by a seraph who brings coal from the altar of heaven. It is, it, it is still hot as even the angel had to, use th had to use thongs to bring it to Isaiah. It touches Isaiah's lips so that his iniquity is taken away and his sin purged. When Isaiah's sins was cleared, God asked, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? God needed to speak to his people and it was through the prophets in which he did. The, the will of God, his glory will, hap, will always happen. He will speak to his people no matter what. Although he knew that Isaiah's heart was for him, he wanted to give Isaiah that choice, that opportunity to say yes, to have his heart fully invested in his truth. We too see Isaiah's heart for God in his affirmation and uh, affirmative answer. He answers emphatically and without hesitation with a heart that was in the presence of the Lord that was cleansed by the Lord. Isaiah does not reluctantly say that he will go. He says, send me. He is obedient to excitedly wait for the Lord to send him. He is at the will of the Lord, not the other way around. Just like the prophet this morning, many of us probably have found ourselves in a similar situation where God is saying to us, whom shall I send? And, and we are standing looking like we are dumbfounded, thinking that, that he, couldn't be, he couldn't possibly be talking to me not giving it the, a, a second thought to see that God uses imperfect people in a daily basis to do his perfect work and will here on earth. From the disciples un, until now, God is calling people that will depend on him and him alone to do the work that he is calling them to do. If you feel that you are not good enough, join the club because none of us are good enough. But God is telling you this morning, telling us this morning that it is not by might nor by power, but, but by his spirit, says the Lord. So don't count yourself out when God is counting you in. 
As a result, this morning, I, I just want to share with you that you, you shouldn't take for granted the, the talents that the Lord has given you. Don't take for granted the gifts that the Lord has placed in you. See, a lot of times we are looking at a situation and thinking, God, please send someone to rescue these people. God, send someone to help this ministry. God, send someone to fill this need that, that I'm seeing here. I, I feel the need to tell you about uh, this, this morning for you to get up, stop praying, and do what God is telling you to do. Don't stay on your, on your knees praying and waiting for God to send someone while he is looking at you saying, I created you for such a time as this. Just like Esther, you, you are not here by accident. God has placed you in this position and giving you the ability to see and understand certain things for such a time as this. The very thing that you are praying for, God is allowing you to see the need because he has already placed something in you that will fulfill that need, something that will close the gap. Don't let God's blessing pass you by, my brothers and sisters, because you are afraid, because you are scared, because you think you're not ready. Now, if you feel that he is calling you to do something for him, count it as an honor that he, he chose you. Just answer, here I am, Lord. Here I am, Lord, send me. Here I am, Lord, use me. Believe me when I tell you this, he will never send you alone. You, you will be fully equipped for what he has called you to do. See, one thing I've learned working in ministry for so many years is that God will never send you alone. God always has a perfect plan. God always prepares us before sending us into the deep end. You see, what, I, what I'm saying is, is that you will not be going alone even when God is asking you. He will go with you. That's his promise. Let, let, let's put it let's put it this way you will you will you will be the face of the project but god will be the work will be doing the work behind the scenes if you are smart you will give him all the credit you will give him all the glory all the praise because anything that god call will call you to do he will equip you to do it you you don't have to 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 think that that oh I need to have it all figured out because I I because because before I go and and do what God is calling me to do but but I'm telling you this morning it, because it, because God is the one with the with the with the plan and He will reveal it as you step out and do what He has called you to do. Even as I talk about this verse in the context of in the context of today, I also want you to understand that this isn't a verse to to pray thoughtlessly. See, see, once you pray it, just as the Lord said to Isaiah in chapter nine, He'll say, "Go." It is one to say uh, willingly and joyously. The the use of "Here I am" reveals purpose. Isaiah was saying he, he was he was here on earth for a specific purpose and he wanted that purpose to be the Lord's. As he immediately followed it with send me. He he didn't wait to hear what the Lord would, would say, but 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 wrote a blank check to the Lord, a universal yes to God's plan for his life. No matter what the Lord had for him, he, he wasn't going to renege on his yes. Because he know that once he say yes to God, it, 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 it was sealed and God was going to use him to bring glory to his name. God wanted him to talk to his people who, who, who were ever hearing but never understanding, ever seeing but never perceiving. God wanted to make his people see, hear, and know him so they would be healed. But he, it, would, it would take so much for them to reach that point. Even so, Isaiah still said yes to a seemingly impossible task. So should we also know that sharing God's love and good news won't always be easy, fun, or comfortable. There, there will be times when it is awkward, hard, and sometimes utterly heartbreaking. But as God is always sovereign and constant, we can have faith that we are His and that answering this call is a privilege and an honor if we desire to be so.
my prayer this morning is, is that whoever is listening to this devotion will be encouraged and face the challenges that's keeping you from counting it as an honor to be chosen or, or called by God in, in whatever that's keeping you from moving forward and do what he is calling you to do. Just drop it at his feet. See, that's the beautiful thing. You could always go to him and say, God, you know what? I'm not good enough. I don't feel that I'm ready for this. I don't feel I'm prepared for this. But you know what? God, God, God is, is here and, and he's ready to, to, to just like he did for Isaiah, cleanse him and prepare him for, for the work that he had for, he, he had, he had for him. When you come and, and drop your, 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 your weakness, your, your, uh, inabilities at the, at the feet of the Lord, just let him know, say, Hey God, he, he, here I am, send me. I'm tired of running. I, I'm tired of ignoring your call. Here I am to, here I am, Lord, do with me as you please. And it, it is indeed an honor that you have chosen me, chosen any one of us that are listening this morning, my Lord and my God. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you today. Thank you, O oh God, for your word, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God, that Lord, I, I don't know who, O oh God, that will listen to this devotion this morning, that you have a call on their life and they are running. They are not going in the way that you are calling them. Father, I pray that you will ease their mind. You will ease their heart. You will, O oh God, let them know that, O oh God, you, you, are, you, you, you are just waiting for them to say that emphatic yes, just like Isaiah did, just like a lot of us have done. And, and Father God, and you're ready to use them so that, O oh God, your kingdom will go further so that you could, O oh God, receive all the glory and all the praise. Father, we thank you for these words, O oh God. Father, help us, O oh God, to, O oh, oh God, not just hear those words, but be doers, O oh God. Help us, O oh God, to be able to pray this prayer, O oh God, and, 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 and say, here I am, Lord. Here I am, send me. Here I am, use me. Father, we surrender to you today. Have your way in us and through us, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Praise the Lord. So good to have you with me once again, where we study God's word. I pray that this word was a special word for somebody, for someone, for each and every one of us, because I receive from this as well. And I pray that you were blessed by those words and i encourage you to share these these devotion to someone that you know could use the encouragement could use this this um this word from the lord amen may god be with you may god watch over you may god keep you may his light shine upon you may he give you peace i love you with the love of the lord